Okay, so before this round starts, anything you want to say about these two players? Um, I actually have not seen these two play against each other. I think it'd be interesting because I don't think they have had a bracket set, and maybe, maybe not ever. At least not in a very yeah. long time. I mean, when I think of Shovel and Zephyr fighting against each other, they both sound like they'd be pretty defensive players. I don't know how this would turn out. Yeah, I mean. Definitely, it depends though, because it really counts down to which character and which player can use their big explosive close range moves more effectively. Like, yeah, Overlord definitely and... has that wand, but if Zephyr can just do an aerial approach, it doesn't matter as much. And all he really <laughs> has to deal with is the Boom Halo and all the other zoning tools Overlord has. If and you have to remember. In... Uh, yeah, you have to remember that. Uh... MS has like three moves that like tech it, so yeah, Boom Halo is not going to be likely to kill here. Yeah. But the thing is that Boom Halo also attacks the Overlord, so it's a soft tech. It's levitation. Overlord's yeah, never but... going to die to Boom Halo, but it can definitely get in a bad position because of it, and it costs a fair bit of mana, matter too. So there's a pretty That's high true. risk to using it. Uh, definitely not very high cooldown though, unfortunately. She's just throwing it around now. I mean, that's just sort of down. the, the 9.0 Overlord playstyle is the thing. Like, there's so little cooldown on Boom Halo, and it's basically your only get off me tool. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just such a good burst option, and if you don't know how to play around it, you just can't really beat Overlord. Although Zephyr's doing plenty fine against yeah, this. Yeah, Zephyr is doing perfectly well. Yeah, there you go. See, you boom Halo, then the MS tax it. Yeah, although. I know he died that yeah, time. Yeah, depending on how you follow up. That was almost an insane call out. Shovel yeah, Sword is stuck here yes. in the corner. Big weakness to Overlord is you really don't have those long range tools that most characters have. Mm -hmm. And even with those restore worlds like that, you can suffer so much in endgame if you allow it to reach that game state. Yeah. Except for I definitely. Actually... Uh, the more yeah, experienced I, player as a at a top level. Uh, wait, he's been around for a really long time. So oh Dead Feast again? Oh. No, no. Yeah. Not so no. Show has been a bit of a rising star in this past year though. Uh yeah. Oh well, seeing after seeing that match, I don't see Zephyr struggling too much against Overlord because we'll see, of auto attacks. Know. I banned flowers. Okay, dude. Um, I mean, best of five for a reason, there's ample opportunity for a comeback. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Oh, already for a stock on, off the top. Yeah. And also a stock down from Shaba. Yeah, answering right back. Oh, we're seeing different moves being used now. I think she's realizing that Boom Halo can't win this one. Alone. Indeed. I mean, that's a wild statement, though. Yeah. Saying that Boom Halo can't win this match, that shouldn't need to be said. It really shouldn't. I mean, the wand's obviously an unspoken uh, inclusion there. The wand's nah. just so good, but it's, and ridiculous, it's so man. to Overlord's kit. More or less text the Boom Halo, doesn't quite die off the top. Locks, like inches oh, away. Oh, no landslide, interesting. Or landslide yeah. too late. Zephyr's winning these endgame interactions so well, but Sheba's not able to make these approaches against MS. It's a really hard character to actually get in on. Yeah, Zephyr's I mean, not really fighting, he's not oh. just running at her, so it's, it's quite tricky. I feel like she should be using. Um, Egg. Yeah. Or, uh, what's, what's it called again? Matter Storm more. I mean, Just to catch Zephyr. Yeah, definitely, but MS has so many defensive tools, like one Matter Storm isn't gonna take them out completely. What a dodge on the laser, my mind. But that um, does force out the last bit of matter, and she's yeah. gonna have to go. Hey. Hello, Tanner. Oh, hey, Tanner. Uh, Tanner is on the bus to Missouri right now. Oh, no, I'm not. I not. just got off. Oh, oh okay. okay. Well, thank you for the guest appearance. We're uh, commentating on. Uh, the match right now. Uh, what is Zephyr? Oh, Assassin. No, yeah, this one's actually interesting because 
Assassin actually doesn't have a terrible matchup against MS. Do we know that though, based on, on Zephyr's matchup chart for MS? Of zero, 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 <laughs> oh, zero, yes. zero, minus five, zero, zero, zero. How could I forget that of matchup course. chart that Zephyr had? That killed that entire, killed that entire, that killed that entire idea of the matchup chart yeah, that we were that's trying to do. Yeah, that's literally the only thing we're waiting is, on is him yeah. doing an actual matchup chart. Anyway. So far, this sounds gone significantly better for Shubba, like, uh, she's forced a couple of recoveries. The first two games have been looking so dominant, so... This is... I mean, that's the thing about Assassin, is it, it just has everything, all at once, and... What is MS gonna do? Yeah. Three against everything is not good math. Yeah, I mean, Assassin, like, it's, it's such a new character, really. Like, it's just such a different character from what it was before. Zephyr might not be accustomed oh, to this matchup. But it, the other thing about Assassin is that since it has everything, you also are everywhere and it's hard to keep track of yourself. Yeah, and that's... Yeah. Like, yeah. 3 -0. Oh, damn. 3-0 is this bracket.